And then you actually looked into some of his past writings and you have a piece at your Substack. It says uh, it's called Mehdi Hassan plagiarized pro spanking column. You know, we, we talk about the Islamophobic thing, but you know, what actually kind of tweaked me to be honest was that Mehdi called me a liar. He called me a lot of things, but he also called me a careerist that I, I'm just engaging in this journalism because to advance my career. I mean, I think anyone who knows me knows the opposite of that. I, I've taken principled stands. You know, a lot of readers kind of saw the interaction and encouraged me to look into Mehdi's background that, you know, this is actually a case of projection. Here's someone who's engaged in incredibly uh, intellectually lazy journalism for decades, who has actually done so much to advance his career um, with very little work or, or a very few principles applied. I found several instances of, of plagiarism uh, looking at uh, a lot of his columns seem geared towards advancing his career. And, you know, I, I think for anyone who really wants to understand Mehdi, look at his application to the Daily Mail. You know, the Daily Mail, uh, for anyone who understands British politics, is the Fox News equivalent for the UK. Uh, he begged to work there. He, <laughs> he um, even while describing the Daily Mail as, as you know, a, a media outlet composed of racists, immigrant bashers, women haters, you know, Islamophobes, uh, he was secretly begging for a job there, saying that you know he's so uh, proud of their Christian values and their uh, social conservatism, and he's a social conservative too, and he can be their left wing voice to attack other left wingers. And I think this just reflects on 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 his entire career. And yes, the plagiarism too. I think um, is a serious ethical violation. That again, just kind of when I when I when I look at at, at the way that Mehdi Hassan engages in journalism. It's lazy. People like me and Matt Taibbi have spent countless hours and months looking at the actual documents at the Twitter files and trying to understand them. Many doesn't try to understand complicated, nuanced uh, political or business or policy issues. He, he sees which way that an issue will benefit his partisan clique, his audience, and then he goes on the attack. That's not journalism. And I think um, the plagiarism uh, examples speak to that kind of ethics and, and, and motive operandi. 